everybody welcome back to the channel um, we're out here in the timber frame barn we're gonna do a project out here today these two beautiful Wilton twin sisters sitting right beside me we're gonna go ahead and get these mounted to this welding table and we're also gonna mount that pipe vise to the table as well this is half inch thick plate steel and it's really hard to drill big holes in as those of you who have done that before can attest to. So I've got a tool today that I'm going to kind of review and kind of go over and it's supposed to make that job a lot easier. That tool was sent to me um, to kind of review and give my opinion of so we'll put her through her paces and I'll let you know if I think it's worth buying or not. So let's get started. Okay, so I got it a little dirty here, but it came in this with this beautiful case. This is the Evolution S28 mag drill. This is what we're going to review today. And so it's got this really nice storage case. Little box of instructions, of course, for the S28 mag. The drill is pretty much intact. It looks like the only thing you have to install would be the coolant reservoir for your annular cutters if you so choose. And looks like the handles for the for the drill press handles are tucked away neatly, snapped in the lid right there. But they also sent a six pack of their annular cutters all the way up to a one inch diameter which is pretty nice and we'll kind of go into these and how they cut and so forth I believe the S28 that they sent me is designed to cut up to a one inch hole easily um, they also sell a bigger unit but that's not what we're reviewing today Uh, works pretty smooth. It's also got another adjustment here um, for the cutting head. It's got a locking a locking position handle so you can kind of fine-tune your height and then of course once you once you kind of fine-tune the height you want it looks like and of course, you control your cut with your drill press action. All in all, it looks like a pretty solid unit. Can't wait to give it a shot. Um, it's a few days later. We had a f about a week long spell of below zero temps, actually 20 below zero temps in snow. So we didn't come out to the barn then to try this. But it's a pretty nice day today, so let's give it a shot. I've got the drill all assembled. Um, I've got the handles on the drill press. It seems to operate very nice and smooth. It comes pre-greased. You know, the drill itself is very well made. The materials seem very solid. A lot of it's, you know, ABS plastic, but that's fine. Most power tools today are. The slide, the dovetail mechanism for the drill press action and the gears are metal, which is great. The dovetail slide is aluminum, which is awesome. So it seems to be very well made. It also comes with a chuck, a regular chuck for a drill press, um, or for drill bits rather, which is a nice feature. So you can actually use standard drill bits with this mag drill, not only the annular cutters. It comes with the adapter that you need to screw into your drill chuck, and the adapter fits into the standard chuck that's on the drill for the annular cutters. And so you have everything you need to retrofit this drill and use standard drill bits if you want to, which is pretty nice. Comes with the chuck for the drill, or for the, the, the chuck itself, and it comes with a safety strap in case you operate this drill on a vertical or overhead 
position. We're not going to do that today, but if you do, you can put a safety strap on it just to be safe. The electromagnet on this drill in the instruction states that when you flip it on, the drill's at 50%. And then when you actually turn on the cutting head itself, the magnet goes to full power. So just keep that in mind and make sure you read the directions so you know what's going on with a drill like this. I don't know what other mag drills or how they operate, but that's how this one would operate. It also comes with all the Allen wrenches you need for all the little screws and grub screws you need to tighten all your chucks, which is a nice feature. It also comes with all the hardware and there's also a coolant tank you can mount to the side of this drill. We're not going to do that. We're just going to use some, some uh, tapping lubricant as we cut, which I think will be just fine. But if you wanted to fill a coolant reservoir and actually run coolant on your cutting head or on your annular cutter, you certainly could. To install this, tighten the first scrub screw, kind of wiggling it back and forth to make sure that it's completely on the flat portion of that. And that way the cutter won't come loose. snug we could actually probably turn on the magnet while we give it a snug okay so now the cutters installed turn the magnet back off and we've got our marks here that we want to cut Go ahead and line up on this first one. So here's our hole, nice and clean, smooth as butter. That's half inch plate steel. I don't know if you've ever tried to drill a hole in half inch plate steel before with a regular drill bit, but man, this makes it really easy. did a really good job on this tool in my opinion. It's built really solid. All the switches are fully sealed from the elements. The fit and finish is very good. The materials are good. It's plastic, but you know what tool is not these days. 
The electromagnet is very strong and the power of the cutting head motor is impressive. Like I said, I'm out here in the timber frame barn and I'm about 150 feet from the nearest power source. I don't have power out here in the barn yet. So I had to run this thing on 150 feet of extension cords. Now they're heavy cords, so they're the right cords for the job, but still, to be able to run this machine off that many feet of extension cords with the electromagnetic base powered on and the cutting head motor powered on and it didn't cut out, it didn't shut off, it didn't trip the overload circuit, worked great. So the electronics inside this machine are pretty impressive as well. Have plenty of power, cut through this heavy steel plate, no problem. If you're cutting through quarter inch steel, doing a project, building something, this thing is going to work just fine. And the electromagnet is plenty strong to mount sideways on a truck frame to drill new holes for a, on a truck frame or anything like that. So I am impressed with this tool. On the dovetail slides are all machined aluminum, which is a very nice feature. The cutters are very sharp and they work great. I just use cutting oil and some spray tap. They do have that coolant reservoir that mounts to the machine, which would be a great thing to do as well. It's winter time right here, it's cold out, so I didn't use that. I just used some cutting oil. Seemed to work just fine. The cutters cut through the steel, no problem. Um, I'm impressed with this machine. There's a few other magnetic drills out there on the market, a few other reviews on YouTube. Um, but Evolution, this blue tool, is pretty impressive. I reviewed one of their steel cutting saws last year and I was impressed with that tool and I'm impressed with this tool as well. This company is doing a very good job. I'm not getting paid by Evolution to do this tool review. They just sent me this tool to let them know what I think and I'll get to use the tool for my review, which is awesome. You guys, if you go to their website and use the promo code that's in the link to this video in the description, um, it's GPC, if you use that, I believe it's GPC, if you use that you'll get a discount on this tool when you order one for yourself. I've got a few projects coming up and I've got one, another big timber frame project or a big timber project coming up that I may use some iron. Um, hardware on so to get that big industrial iron and wood look might use some big iron bolts and stuff um, and we'll custom make those brackets or those big plates and some of the some of the truss reinforcement and stuff I might use some iron because I like that look and for those projects on those big holes those big one inch holes this machine is going to come in very handy and I'm very glad that I have it so give evolution a check um, don't be afraid to buy a power tool from these guys. They do solid. They do solid work. So I know we've been a little bit light on the videos as of late. We're going to get some more coming out here pretty soon with these new projects coming up. So be sure and stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.